I'm here with the director and producer of Ghost Cat Anzu. Um, this film has been unique. It's unique in its animation because it was filmed live action first and then animated, something that is uh, rarely done in animation. What prompted you to film it and do it this way? So for me, uh, for me uh, the uh, uh, purpose was that uh, producer Kondo here uh, suggested uh, that I work with director Yamashita uh, to uh, make a rotoscope uh, animation film. So that's what prompted me to participate. What, how, what were the difficulties that arose from making making it in this way? So you who need あの、Usually in Japan, uh, when they use rotoscope, it's for a dance scene or an action scene. Uh, so it's not for an entire film. Uh, but in order to do a rotoscope for the entire film, we have uh, actions uh, and um, movements uh, from actors that are basically sort of unnecessary movements or very detailed movements. And in order uh, to make that into animation, it takes a lot of effort. But I think that was what really um, uh, helped uh, making this uh, film uh, into a charming film. I see. Well, let them know. Thank you very much for the interview. Uh, by the way, very cute. Uh, mm. can, I have here? can we get a shot of that? Mm. It's so cute. Kawaii on the chan. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.